This is the solution video for section 5.3, problem number 13. A missile is fired vertically from a point that is five miles from a tracking station uh, at the same elevation. For the first 20 seconds of flight, its angle of elevation theta changes at a constant rate of two degrees per second. Find the velocity of the missile when the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. All right, and then I give you a little hint here that two degrees is pi over 90 radians. All right, so, okay, I have this picture here. X is representing the uh, distance that the rocket is above the ground. All right, theta is representing the angle. Five is representing this distance. That is not changing, right? So we leave it as five, all right? So now X is changing, and so there is a dx dt. Now, it says to find the velocity of the missile, right? So that is the rate at which X is changing. And so uh, X is some positive value, and it is what we want to know, all right? Theta is changing, right? Because you think about it, as the rocket is down here, the angle would be very small, right? And then it moves up, and then the angle gets larger, and then it moves up, and then the angle gets even larger, right? So the angle is changing, so that means there is a d theta dt. Right now, you are told that uh, the angle of elevation theta changes at a constant rate of two degrees per second. So that is d theta dt, two degrees per second. All right. Now, okay, you are told this that uh, two degrees is pi over 90 radians, right? So it's important that you guys understand that. Uh, the degrees per second has no relation to the distance, right? And so we need to change this into pi over 90, right? So pi over 90 radians per second will relate to the distance, all right? That however far it is away from uh, the uh, tracking station, all right? And so um, we get that d theta dt is pi over 90 radians per second. All right, so now how are our variables related, theta and x? Well, they're related by a tangent ratio. So the tangent of theta is equal to x over 5, right? Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take the derivative, right? Or actually, I'm sorry our find statement. So we want to find what? So we're told to find the velocity. So dx dt when what is true, when theta is uh, 30 degrees, right? Or you recall that 30 degrees is also pi over 6. All right. And so now I'm going to take the derivative. Derivative of tangent theta is secant squared of theta d theta dt equals derivative of x over 5. Remember, this is like 1 fifth x. So derivative of 1 fifth x is 1 fifth times dx dt. All right. And so now, okay, we plug in the known quantities, right? So we know that theta is 30 degrees or pi over 6. So secant squared of 30 degrees, right, times d theta dt, which is pi over 90, equals 1 fifth dx dt, which is what we want to know, right? All right, and so dx dt is going to be this thing times 5, right? So dx dt is going to be 5 times, all right, the secant squared of 30 degrees. All right, so what is the secant of 30 degrees? All right, so secant of 30, remember cosine is the reciprocal of secant. So the cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. So this would be 2 over root 3. And then don't forget about the squared and then times pi over 90, right? All right, so dx dt, if we're going to finish here, all right, uh, this would be 4 thirds. So 5 times 4 thirds times pi over 90, right? And so if we simplify here, uh, we have 4, uh, sorry, um, 5 and 90 um, are reducible, right? So we can uh, cut the 4 and the 90. Uh, let's see, they're both divisible by 2, so we have 2 and 45, and then 5 and 45 reduced to be 9, and so uh, I have 2 pi over 3 times 9 is 27, and so 2, two pi over 27. Now, what is the unit of, of distance? Well, we had 5 miles, right, and so this is miles per second, all right? Now, 2 pi over 27 miles per second, okay, sometimes that is uh, kind of difficult to uh, fathom, um, but uh, if you convert that um, into miles per hour, right, and you multiply, uh, well, seconds, right, there are 60 seconds in one minute, 
and 60 minutes in uh, one hour, right? And so if you multiply 2 pi over 27 by 60 by 60, right, then you get uh, a uh, kind of a better idea. So 2 pi uh, times 60 times 60 and then divided by 27. And that is going to get us uh, approximately 837.758 miles per hour, which is a totally reasonable uh, velocity for a rocket to be traveling, all right? Um, or a missile, right? So that is.